Sculpting. All right, now we're going to go through a technique-based learning of sculpting. So my techniques are just my techniques, and if you want to copy them, that's fine. But I'm just showing you how some of the brushes and stuff work. The first thing you have to know is uh, we have to break this model back up into its its uh, little parts because there's no good way to freeze things within this program. So here I'm just going to L. And now that it's broken up into shells, you're going to have to push L just on the back side. Oops. And then mesh, vertices, separate by selection. Okay, So each part has to have that happen. Again, L. One last form. So, the character of the skull has the UVs that all share the same 0 to 1, right? But he's broken up into several parts. That's fine. That works out quite well. That way, if I ever want to combine them again at the very end, I can. All right, now let's add some multi-res to this. Now I would say this is a little different than what I usually do. I usually work in a program called Pixelogic ZBrush. But uh, I'll tell you this, that if you divide this up, to the same amount all the way across. It works out quite well because you can actually uh, tone that back down. So what I do is go to multi-res. That one's got six. This one's got a higher res on it. So I'm gonna go to five. And then I'm gonna repeat that process throughout the whole. Oops, uh, let's back that one down, delete higher, there we go. Now it all depends how fast your machine is. I wouldn't go past six if I were you. Okay, then I reverse the process just going to preview and lower that down. And I'll start with a preview of one. Okay, there we go. Now, save out your work. So there's a lot of prepping involved and a lot of this and that until you get started with the sculpt. Then, Sculpt. Now you notice the sculpt goes way high in the levels. Okay, so over here, you can lower that down by going to sculpt. And here's the fun part switching over to object mode. Between object and sculpt mode is kind of a pain.
Good. Sculpt mode. Good. Now I should also be able to toggle between wireframe and non-wireframe. There we go. And solid. Good. Okay. Now we're going to begin with F grab. And we're also going to make sure for every F grab or every brush that we use, kind of symmetry is used. In this case, X. On your weekend drawing tablet, if you have one, you can press this button. Okay, actually, it's this one right here. And you can go to brush size. And that allows you to change the brush size. If you don't have a weekend drawing tablet, it's the brackets on the keyboard. Okay, make a small change. See if it's being mirrored symmetry wise. If it's not, something's wrong. Okay, in this case, it's not one to mirror. So let me prep this model to make sure that the, the center point is on center. It is. I'm just gonna go mesh, transform, origin to geometry, in object mode, just to make sure. In this case, it looks like it's not on. There we go. Yep, everything was just a little bit off. There we go, that works out quite well. As I said, a lot of this is just prepping the model to actually function quite well within Sculpt before you actually even get to Sculpt in the thing. So my first mission is to kind of get everything aligned quite well as big broad things go. So I'm just taking F grab here and moving this stuff around so it matches the orthographic better. Pretty soon you're going to have to get off the fact that you're using orthographic. That's very hard for a new student. Um, let's say you don't need orthographic, but then you need a good reference 3D wise. One should always have a good skull laying around as a reference. You should go out and buy one right away. Not like it actually, you know. <laughs> A real one, but I would say they add one of those anatomical models. Good stuff to own. There we go. Looks pretty good. I find with this reference that things never quite line up quite well, so. There we go, that's as close as it's gonna get. Okay, switch back to solid. There we go. It's already looking a lot better because the fact that it was just so robotic or non-organic looking before. 
Just a few minor tweaks. All right, so now that we have set everything set up, I'll go into finer detail here in the next video. Just straightening up the model took a little bit. So we'll go into the fine detail in the next video.